This is another one of Fitness Blender's HIT Cardio Workouts. In this workout, we're going to be starting off with a 4 minute cardio warm up, and then we're going to go through three separate HIT routines that are each a different style and different interval of HIT. Now, all the exercises we're doing today are all body weight driven, so you're not going to need any extra equipment. So let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're going to be doing this for 30 seconds per exercise. Our first exercise is going to be torso circles. Go ahead and get ready and start up. Bending straight forward that waist, nice big circle, turning all the way around back to the center, then slowly back around the other direction. You want to get a nice good stretch to the left, stretching back behind you, off to the right, down in front, rounding those shoulders forward before you start coming back around the opposite direction. Just take your time, keep those lungs open, nice even breathing all the way around. Almost done, just a few seconds left. We're going to be switching off to a toe touch plus a twist for this next one. And go ahead and switch it, drop down, touch those toes, and you come up and rotate to the left, back down, touch those toes, rotate up to the right, back down again, nice slow controlled motions, keep those lungs open, this is not a quick motion. You want to take your time, just a nice smooth controlled squeeze as you rotate those shoulders left to right, or when you're stretching down to those toes. we got just a few seconds left, just keep it going. And just five seconds left, we've got fly jacks coming up next. And switch it out. Bring those hands out nice and wide, those feet nice and wide. Then snap those feet together as those hands come together in front of that chest. So a nice quick motion, just like a regular jumping jack, but instead of those hands over your head, they're coming in front of your chest. Just keep that motion going, nice even pace. Start warming yourself up. Get that heart rate up, get that core temperature up. Get it ready for our first hit routine. And again, just five seconds left. We're moving to an oblique rocker next and start up. So you're gonna pull that left elbow down to that left knee, then rock it twice, then move it over to that right elbow, right knee, just rocking back and forth, nice quick motion. You wanna get a nice tight squeeze, that elbow down to that knee, getting that oblique to crunch in nice and tight, the same time as stretching in the middle. Just keep that motion going, quick but under control. And just five seconds left till we switch to up and out hops and switch it up. Just drive one knee up and then out to the side, tap that foot then back to the center and then do the same thing on the other side, just alternating back and forth with a nice quick motion. Just make sure you're keeping it under control. Make sure you're keeping those lungs open and you're trying to get that heart rate up a little bit higher and you're trying to warm yourself up. Remember by the time you're done with this warm up, you wanna to be to the point where you're actually getting a pretty good sweat going. And we're almost done. We're gonna switch over to toe touch kicks next and switch it up. Bring one foot up, that opposite hand comes down to the tip of that toe. Try to stretch it down as far as you can. Slow kicking motion, you don't want it to be out of control and you wanna to try to keep that leg pretty much as straight as you can. If there's a little bit of a bend in that knee, that's okay, but you wanna make it focus on keeping that hamstring nice and tight, getting just a little bit of a stretch every single time you reach down. And five seconds left till we switch to just a regular squat, nice slow squat, and switch it. Get those feet just about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit more. Drop those hips down as low as is comfortable. The top of that range of motion, you're gonna stretch those shoulders back behind you, let that chest open up, get a good stretch on that torso, and nice and slow squat right back down again, get a good full range of motion, get those hips as low as you can, warming those knees up, warming those hips up, trying to really push that range of motion. And we've got just five seconds left till this warm up is done. Just keep that motion going and let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for our first round of hit. We're going to be doing one round with burpees and one round with walk down push ups and a descending ladder. We're going to be doing 15 seconds rest between each. So let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise, the burpees. Go ahead and get ready and start them up. You've got 50 seconds straight through. Nice quick motion. Get those hands down to the ground, kick those feet straight back behind you. Really be careful as you start getting tired to make sure those feet move at the same time. You don't want to bring one foot up at a time, or if you have to, if you're just that tired, then make sure you alternate which foot you bring forward first every single time. Just try to keep it going as quickly as you can. Try to get as much of a range of motion as you can, a nice hard jump at the top every single time. We're a little over halfway through with this first round, so just keep pushing it.
And just 10 seconds left. Keep that motion going nice and strong. We're almost there. Five seconds left. And let it relax. All right, good job. You got 15 second break until we do that again. This time, the second round is only me for 40 seconds. And we're going to start you back up in five seconds. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Another round of burpees, this time for 40 seconds. Keep those feet quick. You want to be moving as fast as you possibly can. Get that full jump at the top of that range of motion down to a full push-up position at the bottom. Make sure you're getting those feet moving at the same time as best you can. Now, if you hold your breath on this, it's going to make this exercise much, much more difficult. So make sure you're breathing normally the entire time. Never hold your breath. Trying to get nice, deep, full breaths every single time you breathe. And we're almost done. Just 10 seconds left to go. Keep pushing it. We're almost there. Nice, clean motion. Five seconds left. And let it relax. Nicely done. Another 15 seconds rest. Nice deep breath. Try to recover as best you can before you start again. Now this next round, we're dropping down to 30 seconds for. We're cutting 10 seconds off every single time. Got five seconds to go. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Another round of those burpees. Now I know you're probably getting more and more tired with this, but just remember every single time, every single round gets a little bit shorter. So keep pushing through this as hard as you can, 100% all the way through. And that's halfway right there. Keep that form nice and clean, moving as quickly as you can, making sure you keep it under control. Just a few seconds left. Keep it going just a little bit longer. Nice, clean form. And let it relax. All right, nicely done. We have just two more rounds to go. The next one's going to be 20 seconds. And let's go ahead and get ready for that next round. Got a few seconds left. And start up. Get those feet moving really nice and quick, but keep that form nice and solid. This is your second to last round. Push through it as hard as you can. Just have one more short little round after this. So make sure you push it as hard as you can. You have just a few seconds left. Keep it going nice and strong. Three, two, one, and let it relax. Nicely done. We have just one more to go. Just 10 seconds of work left. All right, one more round. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Back down to that burpee. Get those feet out there nice and quick. Pull them back underneath you. Then stand up and give a good jump every single time. Just a few seconds left. And let it relax. Nicely done. That is your last round of burpees. Now we get a new torture. We're going to be doing walk down push-ups. Starting back over at 50 seconds. We're going to be doing the same progression with this one. Cutting 10 seconds off each round. So let's go ahead and get ready. And start up. Walk out with those hands, trying to keep those legs relatively straight. Go out to a full push-up position. Drop down, do one push-up, and then walk right back up again. Trying again, keep those legs as straight as you possibly can. Now just keep going back and forth, slowly walking out, then slowly walking back up. Trying to keep those legs nice and straight. Getting a full push-up at the bottom. Make sure you have a nice straight line from your shoulder down to your ankle before you start that push-up motion. And you want to make sure you're really working those shoulders Trying to make sure that as you walk up and as you walk out that you're using an alternating arm every single time to start off with. Just keep that motion going under control. We have just a few seconds left. Keep pushing through it. See how many more push-ups you can get done. And just five seconds left. Keep that motion going nice and strong. And let it relax. All right, good job. That's our first round done. That means we're dropping down to 40 seconds for our second round. And our rest time is almost up. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up again. Nice straight leg, walk out with those hands, full push up at the bottom, then walk back up to that full standing position before you start again. Now the quicker you go, the more you're gonna get out of this, so move as quickly as you possibly can, but only as long as you control that motion. You don't wanna let that form slide. Just keep this motion going over and over again. Keep those lungs open the entire time, really making yourself have to work. And we are almost done. Just five seconds left. Keep that motion going nice and strong. You have enough time to come back up from that push-up. 
and let it relax. All right, good job, you got another short break. Then we're gonna move right back into our third round for 30 seconds. And as you can see, I've started to do jogging in place to get that heart rate up just a little bit more, give myself a little bit more of a calorie burn out of this. Feel free to do the same. Let's go ahead and get ready for that next round. And start up, walk out with those hands. Do that full push up, then slowly back up again. Now remember, if you can't do a full push up, feel free to drop down to those knees, do a push up off those knees, but try to do as many full push ups as you can. Just keep that motion going smooth and under control, but still trying to go as quickly as possible while maintaining that form. And we've got just a few seconds left. Keep cranking them out. You can get at least one more out there. Walk it out, do that push up, and let it relax. All right, we've got another little break. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds for our next round. Like I'm doing here, try, if you can, to do a little bit of an active recovery. So try to keep those feet moving, at least jogging in place. Go ahead and get ready. And start up again. Walk those hands out, moving as quickly as you can. Keep that form nice and solid. Remember, keep those legs as straight as you possibly can. Trying to get a nice full push-up when you drop out to that push-up position. If you can do a full push-up, do a full push-up. Otherwise, you can drop onto those knees and do a half push-up. But try to keep it as clean as you can and as quick as you can. We're almost done. And let it relax. Nicely done. We have just one more round to go for 10 seconds. Now, this is the last exercise and the last round of this portion of the routine. So make sure you push it as hard as you can. We're starting here in just a few seconds, so go ahead and get ready. And start up. Your last one. Move it as quickly as you possibly can. Keep that form nice and solid. We're almost done already. Just keep pushing through it. It's a few seconds left. And let it relax. Nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for our next round. With this one, we're going to be doing a little bit different routine. It's going to be a pyramid. So we're going to start with 10 seconds, then 20, 30, 40. Then we're going to work our way back down, 30, 20, 10. Same kind of thing. We're going to start with mountain climbers, go through it once, and then we're going to do the same thing again with high knees. Now, if you need a little extra rest, then feel free to push pause. Otherwise, we're going to start right back into the second hit round in just a second. And go ahead and make your way back in front of that computer screen or that TV screen. We're going to be starting back over again with mountain climbers. Our first round is 10 seconds long. And start them up. Now this is a traditional mountain climber, so keep those hips nice and low and drive those knees as quickly as you can. You've got a few seconds left. And let it relax. All right, that's your first break right there. We're moving up to 20 seconds for round number two. We've got just a few seconds left until we start our next round. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Drop down, keep those hips nice and low, drive those knees nice and quick. Now if you want the harder version, every single time you drive a knee up, the foot of that leg, you wanna keep up off the ground. Otherwise, the easier version is you can actually let that foot tap every single time you pull it forward. But of course, the main thing is moving those feet really nice and quick and keeping those hips low. So a couple seconds left. And let it relax, go ahead and stand back up. We got another round of rest. If you can, jog in place, or if you're a real glutton for punishment, do some jumping jacks for that active rest. Otherwise, just moving those feet back and forth. Got a few seconds left, so go ahead and get ready. And start them back up. We got 30 seconds this time, keep those feet moving. Again, same intensity, you wanna move those feet as quickly as you possibly can. Really challenge yourself. We've got 20 seconds left to go, so keep it moving. And we're down to 10 seconds left. Keep those knees driving up underneath you as much as you can. Keep those hips nice and low. We're almost done. Just a few seconds left. And let it relax. Nicely done. Okay, we have our longest interval coming up next. This is going to be 40 seconds. After we're done with this one, we're starting our way back down. We've got just a few seconds left till we start, so go ahead and get ready. And start up. Get those feet moving again. Now, like I said, this is our longest interval on this exercise, but don't drop the intensity. You want to be trying to push just as hard on this one as you would for your 10 second round. So keep pushing through it. Drive those knees as hard as you can. Barely let those feet tap if you can. Just keeping those hips nice and low, pushing 100%. Now we got just 20 seconds left, which means we're over halfway now. So just keep those feet moving. We'll be done before you know it.
And just 10 seconds left. I know it's getting hard by this point. I know those legs are tired. I know those abs and shoulders are tired, but keep pushing it. We're almost done. And let it relax. All right, nicely done. That is our hardest one finished, which means we're moving back down to 30 seconds for our next round. And we'll be starting back up in just a few seconds, so go ahead and get ready. And start up. Drop back down into that push-up position. Drive those knees one at a time. Try to keep those hips as low as you can. Drive those knees up underneath your body as much as possible, moving as quickly as possible. Now we have just 20 seconds left. We're going to be done with this in no time, so keep pushing through it. Pushing 100%. And we're almost done, just a few seconds left. Hold out for just a little bit longer. And let it relax. All right, nicely done. We have just two more rounds to go. Our next is only 20 seconds long. These are getting easier and easier, so keep with it. We've got just a few seconds till we start. So go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Drive those knees underneath you. Keep those feet up off the ground as best you can. Keep those hips nice and low. And that's halfway right there, which means you're under 10 seconds already. Keep those feet moving. Nice quick motions. Keep those hips low. And let it relax. Nicely done. All right, we only have one set left to do with this exercise. It's only 10 seconds long. And then we're going to do this whole hit structure one more time with a different exercise. All right, let's go ahead and get ready for this last round. And start up. Remember, just 10 seconds long. Push it as hard as you possibly can. Really tire yourself out. We've got five seconds left. Keep pushing it. Three, two, one, and let it relax. All right, nicely done. That means we're done with those mountain climbers, which means we're moving on to our next exercise, the high knees, starting off again at 10 seconds. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Drive those knees up as high as you possibly can. I know this hurts like crazy, but keep pushing through it. Drive those knees. Get them up as high as you possibly can. And let it relax. All right, nicely done. That's our first round down. We're moving up to 20 seconds for round number two. I know those hip flexors are really nice and tired. You can see mine are as well. But just keep pushing through it. This is going to be really worth it by the time you're done. So just keep focusing on it. We've got just a few seconds till we start our next round. And start up. Drive those knees, getting them nice and high. Remember, 20 seconds total for this one. Just keep that pace going as fast as you can. Barely let those toes touch every single time they drop back down. You got 10 seconds left. And we are almost done. Just a few seconds left. Keep driving those knees. And let it relax. All right, good job. We've got another round coming up. This time we're going for 30 seconds. Just a few seconds left of our rest. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Drive those knees. This is 30 seconds long. Keep those knees as high as you can. Remember, you want to try to get them at least to hip height if you can, higher if possible. Just keep those feet pulling right back off the ground as quickly as you can. Just 10 seconds left. Keep those feet moving. Nice quick motions. I know those legs are getting tired, but keep driving through it. We're almost done. Two, one, and let it relax. All right, nicely done. We're moving on to our longest round this next one. We're going for 40 seconds. Just a few seconds left of our rest. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up again. Drive those knees. Keep them going as hard as you can. And this is the longest round, but just don't think about it. Keep that 100% effort level going the entire way through this. Just pound them out, barely letting that foot touch the ground before you're yanking it right back up again, driving that knee. And just 10 seconds left. Keep pushing through it. I know those legs are almost going to be ready to fall off, but keep going. You got just a few seconds left. Keep pushing through that burn, driving those knees, and let it relax. Nicely done. You got 15 seconds of rest, and then we're going to start our way back down for 30 seconds on our next round. And we're going to start it back up here in a few seconds, so go ahead and get ready. 
and start it back up. Drive those knees. We only have 30 seconds on this one. You did 40 last time, so you can get through 30 seconds this time. Keep pushing it 100%, pushing those knees up as high as you possibly can, at least hip height, higher if you can. Barely letting that foot touch the ground before you're pulling it right back up. And just 10 seconds left. Keep those knees going, driving them up nice and high. Keep pushing through that burn. We're almost done, just a few seconds left. And let it relax, nicely done. We have two more rounds to go. Our next one is gonna be 20 seconds. Get ready to start it again. And start them up, drive those knees, only 20 seconds. You can get this done, no matter how tired those legs are, you can do this for 20 seconds. Drive those knees, get them up as high as you can, barely let that foot touch before you drive it right back up again. Now we have just a few seconds left, so keep pushing through it 100% the entire time. Just keep it going, driving those knees, and let it relax. Nicely done, we have just one round left to go for a measly 10 seconds. All right, just a few seconds before we start that last round. So let's go ahead and get ready. And start up 100% for just 10 seconds. Drive those knees, get them up as high as you can, move those feet as fast as you can. We're already well over halfway, a couple seconds left, and let it relax. All right, very good job. That is the last one of that routine, which means we're moving on to our next hit routine, which is gonna be a Tabata style of 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off twice through, so one minute per exercise of 11 total exercises. And once we're done with that, we're done with this routine. Now if you need a little extra rest before you move into this next round of HIT, then feel free to hit the pause button. Otherwise, we're gonna start right back into round number three here in just a few more seconds. All right, go ahead and make your way back in front of that TV screen or that computer screen. We're gonna be starting right back in with seal push-ups. We're gonna be doing 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Go ahead and get ready and start them up. From a pike position, you're gonna drop down with that head, swoop that chest down towards the ground, then arch that chest up facing to the wall in front of you, then slowly reverse it. Come back up, kicking those hips up in the air, making sure you're keeping those legs really nice and straight, keeping those knees up off the ground for the hardest version. And go ahead and let it relax. You got 10 second break before we start that one more time through. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Dip that chest down, arch that chest up, then press it right back the opposite direction. Just keep that motion going. Now if you can't do the full version of this, you can do it off of your knees, but it makes it much, much easier. So try to keep those knees off the ground doing the full version. We're almost done. And let it relax. All right, you got a 10 second break till we move to the next exercise, which is gonna be a jumping lunge. Go ahead and stand up, get ready, and start it up. Just jumping back and forth, alternating those legs every single time, getting down in a nice deep lunge, jumping straight up. You don't have to push it real hard trying to get that really high jump, but you wanna mainly focus on getting those feet to switch back and forth nice and smooth. Just a few seconds left, keep it going. Nice even pace and let it relax. All right, 10 second break, we're gonna do that one more time. Go ahead and get ready. And start it up. Nice quick motion, alternating those feet back and forth. Get a nice deep lunge every single time. Keep that chest straight up and down. Moving nice and quick, but keeping that motion under control. Never let your weight shift forward onto that front leg. Make sure you're switching those feet back and forth nice and quick. We're almost done. And let it relax, nicely done. That's two down of that exercise, which means we're moving on to the next, which is a crossover push-up. Go ahead and get down on the ground. It's easy to start with your hands nice and close together for this one, and start it up. You just step left to right with those hands, coming back to the center with those hands every single time, making sure you're keeping a controlled, smooth motion, keeping a nice straight line from your shoulder to your ankle. Now you can do this off of your knees if you need to, but it's a little bit awkward from your knees, so if you can, try to do it from those toes for as long as possible. We're almost done. Go ahead and let it relax. We got one more round of this exercise. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Those hands in the center, just walk back and forth, left to right, one hand at a time. Get a nice, full, deep push-up every single time. 
Now it's okay to let those hips kick up just a little bit as you're moving back and forth, but try to keep that back nice and flat, nice straight line from your shoulder to your ankle while you're actually doing that push up. We're almost done. And let that one relax. Very good, that was two of that. So we're moving on to the next exercise, which is gonna be a side plank plus a toe touch. We're gonna be starting on that right side first. So go ahead and come up in that side plank. That left hand's gonna be out in front of you. That left foot's gonna come up in front. Just keep that motion under control. Don't kick or swing that leg. And you wanna make sure you're keeping that hip up at a static position. Try not to let that hip start to droop as you start getting further along in repetitions. Now we're almost done, just a few seconds left. Keep it going. And let it relax, nicely done. All right, we got one more on this side, then we're gonna switch sides. And go and get ready for round number two. And start it up. Again, nice slow motion. You want it controlled the entire time, keeping those hips up, kicking that leg out in front of you, making sure it's a controlled motion, extending it out as you reach down with that left hand to that left toe. Got just a few seconds left, keep it going. Really squeeze those hips up there and let it relax, nicely done. Let's go ahead and switch sides, same thing on the opposite side. And go ahead and get ready. And start up on that left side, bring that hip up nice and high, bring that right foot forward to that right hand, trying to keep that body in a nice straight line from shoulder to ankle. Just keep that motion going, again, under control, nice, slow, controlled squeeze forward with that leg, reaching down to that toe, try not to let yourself get out of control and just kick it out there. And let it relax, you got one more on this side. Go ahead and get ready. And start up again, bring that right foot in front, Touching it with that right hand, trying to keep those hips up nice and high, straight line from that shoulder to that ankle. Just hold it as long as you can. We only have a few more seconds to go. Just push through the pain, the difficulty of keeping those legs up there, those hips up there. If you want an easier version, you can always drop to those knees, but try to keep up on those feet. And let it relax, nicely done. Let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, which is gonna be a supine plank with a toe touch. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. From those hands and feet, get those hips up there nice and high. Just alternating back and forth, left hand to right foot, right hand to left foot. Just coming back and forth, crunching up towards that toe. Just alternating back and forth, keeping those hips up nice and high. We're almost done, just a few more seconds to go. And let it relax, nicely done. We got one more round of that. Go ahead and get ready. Bring those hips up and start it. Kick those feet back and forth, alternate side to side. Just make sure you're trying to keep those hips up off the ground as high as you possibly can, at the same time as reaching for those toes. We're already halfway done. Just keep that motion going under control. Make sure you're not out of control. You're not letting those legs and arms just swing around. And let it relax, nicely done. Let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, which is gonna be a regular lateral jump. Go ahead and get ready and start them up, just jumping left to right, keeping those hips as low as you can. I know those legs are probably as tired as tired can be, but keep that motion going as clean as you can, trying to stay as low as possible, getting as wide as possible. Got just a few seconds left, keep pushing through it. And let it relax, nicely done. All right, we've got one more round of these lateral jumps, and then we're gonna switch exercises again. Go ahead and get ready and start them up. Keep nice and low. Make sure you're trying to jump as hard as you can left to right every single time. Get that jump as wide as possible. I know those legs are tired, but just keep pushing through it. We've got just a few more exercises to go and then you'll be completely done with this routine. Just five seconds left, keep it going. And let it relax, nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, which is gonna be toe touch squats. Go ahead and get ready and start up. This is a really basic motion. You're just gonna squat down nice and low, touch those toes with those hands, and then stand right back up again. You wanna make sure you're getting those hips nice and low, so don't just bend over at that waist and touch those toes. You wanna get those hips down to that knee level. Got just a few seconds left, keep pushing through it. Nice deep squat, and let it relax. Nicely done. All right, we're gonna have another 10 second break, and we got one more round of this. Go ahead and get ready. And start up again, nice deep squat, reaching down and touching those toes. Get those hips down as low as is comfortable. 
Just focusing on getting a full range of motion, trying to touch those toes, getting those hips down to those knees, keeping it an even pace. Just whatever you do, don't slow down. Try to keep it nice and even all the way through. We have just a few seconds left. Keep pushing it. And let it relax. Nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, which is going to be agility dots. So we're going to be doing that X pattern. We're going to be doing alternating directions, so make sure you keep track. And start it up. It's a nice X pattern going across those four points. Just keep that motion going really nice and quick, barely letting those toes touch the ground before you're jumping again. We're a little over halfway. Keep it strong. Keep that pace even. Just a few more seconds to go. Nice quick motion and let it relax. All right, good job. We're going to be reversing that direction on this next round. Go ahead and get ready. And start it up. Same X pattern, just trying to do it in the reverse direction. Nice even pace. Keep those feet moving nice and quick, barely touching the ground before you're jumping again. Pushing yourself 100% the entire time. We have just a few more seconds to go, so keep pushing it as hard as possible. And let it relax. Nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, which is going to be a round of just regular jumping jacks. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Nice quick motion. This is a regular jumping jack. Try to push that heart rate as much as you possibly can. Really tire yourself out. This is one of our last exercises to go. So really push through it 100% the entire time. We've got just a few seconds left, so keep going. Nice quick motion. And let it relax. Nicely done. Okay, we have one more round of those jumping jacks. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. Nice quick motion. Keep that arm nice and rigid. Keep that leg nice and rigid. Snapping those legs in and out. Bring those arms over your head and back down to those thighs. Nice quick motion the entire time. Keep those lungs open. Pushing as hard as you can. We're almost done. Just a few seconds left. Keep pushing it. And let it relax. Nicely done. Moving on to our last exercise of this routine, the knee slap jumps. Now I know this exercise is absolutely brutal, but try to do your best. And start it up. Bring those knees up as high as you can. You don't want to bring those hands any lower than about hip height. You're trying to jump those knees up to hip height every single time. Now I know these legs are just ridiculously tired by this point, and you're probably not going to have a really nice clean form, but do as best you can, jumping as hard as you can, driving those knees up as high as you can. Almost done, and let it relax. Very good. We got one more round of this, and then we're done with this routine. Nice deep breath. Go ahead and get ready. And start them up. This is your last round. Push it as hard as you possibly can. You don't want to leave anything behind. Drive those knees up. Slap those thighs. Push through it 100% the entire time. Make sure you are almost dead by the time you're done with this. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Got a few seconds left. Two, one, and let it relax. Nicely done. Now I'm sure that you're just as tired as I am. Make sure you get a good cool down and stretch before you're completely done, but otherwise this workout is complete. Good job, you finished another one of Fitness Blender's killer hit workouts.